feel it now. It's all around me. A silent voice I can't deny. A mother's Shanti. Day 10. Today's direction. Maintain the awareness that you are the elevated souls who play a special part with the Father. Baba is talking with a group from New York, America. Do you experience yourselves to be the souls who are handful out of multi-millions and a selected few out of that? Do you have the happiness and intoxication that you are the souls who have direct relationship with the father and play a part with the father within the drama? How many things have you imbibed to remain constantly happy? Babdada is pleased to see every beloved long lost and now found child. How long has it been since you met Baba? Do you remember this? Do you not? Maintain the awareness that you are the elevated souls who play a special part with the Father, who is the highest on high. Then, as is your awareness, so will your state be accordingly. So this is the Avyakta Murli of 4th January 1982. In 82, the approximate population of America was about 230 million. So the very first question Baba is asking, do you experience? One is to know, to feel, to understand at the intellectual level. Another is to experience. If there is no experience in spirituality, it's merely an intellectual gimmick. That's why Baba focuses more on Anubhuti, Anubhav, experience. Do you experience yourselves to be the souls who are handful out of multi-millions and a selected few out of them? This is a deep point for contemplation, to sit and to churn. One is to do yoga, another is to go within. Definitely for doing yoga, you need your eyes open. But if you want to go within yourself, you have to just sit with eyes closed. You know, in the Patanjali system of Raj Yoga, they give a lot of attention to postures and asanas. 
But there are people who have attained the highest without the help of postures. And there are people who have been doing postures and they have not attained anything. But definitely it is logical that one should be able to sit for hours without moving. If you can just sit in a particular posture with eyes closed without movement of the body something will start happening within sitting still bible says sit still and know sit still and know there was a spiritual master who used to give two discourses a day one in the morning one in the evening and the audience would ask the disciples what your master does the whole day so the disciples would say he just sits but he must be reading he must be preparing for the lectures the disciple says no he doesn't do anything he just sits on his chair with closed eyes without movement that itself is a spiritual practice to sit still with closed eyes without movement the moment you start doing this there is a inner restlessness which makes you to move movement there is a inner restlessness that makes you to come out of that statue like posture it is not the outside environment it is the mental restlessness so if you want to curb this restlessness this is a very important practice to sit still and just churn why i am fortunate by by saying do you experience do you experience one is to sit down and write points and to churn but experience is something else do you have the happiness and intoxication that you are the souls who have a direct relationship with the father and a play a part with the father so these are the two things we have direct relationships with him and we play our part with him there are so many souls in this world baba says they are as if orphan they do not know their father you are the one you know father they are you are the ones who have understood who is father and you have forged a direct relationship with him and your part is with him so this itself is a great responsibility when my part is with father that means whatever is father's part that same is my part so father has come to purify the world he is the purifier so i am the master purifier i have to purify the world not just souls but every particle of this universe so this is a very good yoga experiment this is the earth i am at the center of the earth the master purifier and i am purifying every particle of this universe i am purifying every soul of this universe i am emitting out waves vibrations that is purifying everything so that high level of purity is needed for such effort so whatever is father's part the same is my part he is the ocean of purity he is the sky of purity he is the storehouse of purity so the same purity should come within me so whatever is father's part that is my part in latest avyakta murli which was played out in shantivan baba had said 
Purity is greatness. Purity is, what is purity? That is greatness. It is vrat. It is a strict religious observance which you people are doing. Just as in the path of devotion, they observe vrat and they are so firm, so unflinching in their pledges, so also. For you, purity is a vrat. Purity is the foundation of your Brahmin life. Take away this foundation and the entire building of the Brahmin life collapses. So make this foundation firm. The fruit and the strength of purity, fal bal. The fruit of this purity is super sensuous bliss. If you are not experiencing that super sensuous bliss at Amrit Vela, check yourself. There is some weakness at some point. Purity is benediction, vardan. And those who get this blessing of purity, they receive three other blessings. What are they? Blessings from your own self, blessings from father and blessings from the Brahmin family. Those who are pure, they become master almighty authority. They become very, very powerful automatically. And all powers are at their beck and call. Baba made everyone to raise the hands. Do you feel that those powers all the time? Or only at some time? Then Baba asked to check the percentage of purity or increase the percentage of purity. Next. Purity means you are world transformer. If you can transform, you claim to be Prakriti Jit, you claim to be Maya Jit, cannot you transform the five elements and cannot you transform all the souls? So purity means those who are world transformer. Ninth, purity means those who can put full stop in one second. Full stop means where the line terminates. In a single page of paper there are, which is the maximum exclamation mark, uh, punctuation mark which is used, full stop. But in the page of our lives, that is seldom used. We are just putting commas and question marks, commas and question marks. And that is making the path crooked. Purity is reality. Purity is personality. Purity is royalty. You were royal when you were, you, you, you were in your homes, just as a star. You were royal. When you descended down in the golden age, you were very royal. Even at the start of the copper age, your pictures were much, much beautiful. Purity is your birthright. Thirteenth. Purity is your birthright. Waste also is a purity, impurity. So remove all the waste which is in the thoughts, all the subtle impurities in the subconscious mind. These impurities cause burden. You know, when you go to the doctor, what they say? If you want to remain fit, you must lose weight. So even for physical exercise, you need lightness of body. This is spiritual exercise. Here also you need lightness. So diet of waste thoughts would make you obese. You have to shed this extra fat. Burn the extra calories of waste thoughts. Fifteenth, Srimat. Check for every karma what is the Srimat. And the last point, those who are weak, don't kick them out. Give them support, give them cooperation, encourage them, empower them. So these were the 16 points 
Baba talked about purity the other day. So do you have the happiness and intoxication that you are the souls who have got direct relationship with the Father and play a part with the Father within the drama? So he is the purifier, so I am also the purifier. How many things have you imbibed to remain constantly happy? So what we should do to remain happy? Remember the fortune and what are the fortunes of Brahmin life? What are the fortunes of Brahmin life? Baba is pleased to see each and every beloved, long lost and now found child. How long you have been, it is since you met Baba. Do you remember this? Maintain the awareness, Smriti. Just as the Smriti, so will be the Stiti. So awareness and the stage are very much closely linked with each other. The moment I remember something very sorrowful, something very hurtful, something very, very painful of my life, immediately that sorrow, that pain, that misery, that suffering comes to me. I remember some injustice being done to me in the past. Immediately I feel sorrowful. I get upset. Somebody said something. I remember that. Feel upset. So this is a direct connection. Smriti and Stiti. Awareness and stage. So cannot we keep this awareness always elevated? So what are the fortunes of Brahmin life? Yes, Ravinesh. What are the fortunes of Brahmin life? Baba always says, keep the list of Bhagya, keep the list of your fortune in front of you. What have you gained? Yes, Baba Murli and Madhuvan. Yeah, that's good. First of all, you got to know yourself, who you are. I was not knowing who I was. I was wearing mask and mask and masquerading and moving around. But here I got to know who I am, what I am, where are I, I am from, what is the goal of my life and what I have to do. This is the first thing I have understood here. The questions that has always puzzled humanity. Who am I? Who am I? There's a book by Raman Maharishi, Who Am I? Who Am I? But the entire book doesn't answer the question, Who Am I? They say that you just sit and keep on asking, Who Am I? Who Am I? Who Am I? Am I this? Am I that? Am I this? Am I that? Neti, neti. I am not this. I am not this. But ultimately the answer doesn't come. So there are so many books written about Who Am I? Who Am I? Who Am I? But nobody knows Who Am I? Because this knowledge can be given only by the person who is out of this cycle. Somebody who is sitting up there, he alone can tell what all these souls are and from where they have come and for what purpose. So first fortune is I got to know myself. Second fortune is I got to know God. God has remained a mystery throughout the cycle. Scholars came, spiritual leaders came, Religious founders came, avatars came, tirthankars came, buddhas came, children of God came, great souls came. They all talked about God. But God remained a mystery, always. Somebody said God is Sakar, somebody said God is Nirakar, somebody said God is this, God is that. But nobody knew exactly who is God. There are 4,600 religions in the world, about, might be more. This is the religions. Every religion, sects, out of these 300 are important. Out of 300, 12 religions are important. Out of 12, 4 are more important. This is the religions in the world. Every religion, every potter praises his own pot. They say, our God is better. Your God is not good. There are some religions which are non-believing in God. They don't need God. Buddhism, they don't need God. You can attain the highest without God. Jainism, they don't need God. You can attain the highest without God. But this is absolutely disturbing to a Hindu. How can you achieve highest mukti without God? Faith is needed. But... In Patanjali, Raj Yoga, faith is not needed. God is just one of the methods. If you want to use, it's fine. Otherwise, you don't use. He is absolutely scientific in his approach. But other religions, they imagine without God. 
so there are so many systems where god is not needed or god is one of the methods method 1 okay you have faith in god method 2 don't have faith in god okay come both will reach the same so there are so many baffling philosophies in the world there are six main philosophies in india but we never understood what is god god remained a mystery all the time already one confusion added upon another confusion in hinduism already pantheon of gods so many gods are already existing and then so many new religions came every time adding a new god a new philosophy so this is my fortune that i got to know who is god understood him what is he third madhuban yes to be in madhuban to visit madhuban to think of madhuban is a fortune such a pure land such a sacrosanct land then murli gyan itself is a fortune then shrimat is a fortune then purity is the fortune then hmm family fortune but for some in bracket few things <laughs> so family is also fortune baba says this is prabhu parivar this is god's family the divine family then sir service service is a fortune then hmm food is a fortune then toli is a fortune then becoming an angel is a fortune then going to heaven is a fortune then spiritual drills are the fortunes then atmosphere which atmosphere pure atmosphere is a fortune then what else company of whom yeah god is your companion when i forget that god is my supreme companion i start feeling lonely so the loneliness is when i forget who is god and he is my companion so make him your friend yesterday's murli baba said he is your greatest friend and ravan is your enemy so walk hand in hand with your friend shake hand with him what other fortunes you have got hmm relationships with him is the fortune music is the fortune songs are the fortune hmm class so good discussions is a fortune small groups is a fortune then what else literature is the fortune books are the fortune audios are the fortune what else all dadis and their divine speeches are the fortune history of the yagya to remember the history to remember the struggle the initial struggles and an effort to become like them is a fortune to remain in the awakened stage is a fortune hmm yeah so our life is full of fortunes so whenever you get upset sit still <clears throat> keep the alarm for 1 hour put set the alarm for 1 hour and don't move at all absolute sit still and start remembering what are my fortunes and one after another points will come emerge and each point will emerge from the depth of consciousness which will fill the mind heart with love with joy with bliss rapture ecstasy so to swim in the spiritual ecstasy is the goal of the spiritual life to remain in that spiritual ecstatic stage is brahmin life and to move away from the odor of body consciousness you know whenever there is a foul smell somewhere what you do what do you do you go away from that place so also body consciousness is a false odor you must learn the technique means ways methods to go away from this false odor so bring scent bring aroma bring fragrance fragrance of spiritual life spiritual discussion spiritual gyan spiritual yoga and everything which is spiritual so surround yourself all the time with books with audios with discussions with seva with churning with silence with solitude and sitting still this is the most important practice just sit still without movement
and think what happens let's see okay so this is the avyakta murli of 1982 and baba has asked these are the directions for today first experiencing yourself to a very fortunate soul second direct relationship and i have a part with the father and third what things i have imbibed to remain happy so these are the list of fortunes i have so whenever i feel disheartened sit and remember and as is my awareness so will be my stage if my awareness is full of sorrow misery suffering my stage will be like that if my awareness is high very elevated awareness all the time so my stage will be high om shanti